Welcome back. You're still watching uh, Morning Live on a Monday morning and we're starting to wrap uh, things up here. We've got two lovely conversations to go and this first one interests me a great deal. Let's uh, get into it. Haripusheng Ripushaneng is a youth movement that is made of different graduates and international students that all came under one objective and that's to transfer skills, knowledge and be part of the motion of working together, fighting against intergenerational poverty that is a huge cancer in our country. Now, the organization is uh, non-sponsored and non-charging for the services that they offer. They run programs that are mostly aligned to the current challenges affecting the youth and children and concentrating more on rural areas. We, of course, continue to tell inspirational stories of uh, young people as we are still celebrating Youth Month. Let's talk now to Lifa Mpirime, who is the spokesperson of Hare Pusheng Ri Pushaneng. A very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good to meet you. I think we've met before, though, in the Free State. Yeah, thank you very Many much. Many years yes, ago. I met you at Free State. Yes, you were with right. Premier, um, my Premier. Yes, okay. Sir. All right. Well, tell me about this uh, Hare Pusheng Ri Pushaneng. The name itself, translating to let's work hard and help us to strive for more. What motivated you to get this thing going? No, like after we've noted like the challenge, mm. like people are facing the in the rurals, we, we came to that country mm. that we must form this organi organization. Of, we must work hard mm. and inspire other people to work hard mm. so that we can make like this poverty to be history in our country. So, so what are you yes. doing? How do you do that? How, how, how are we doing that? Yeah. Uh, we normally go to schools, we normally go to schools, churches everywhere to just inspire these young kids, tell them that in life everything is possible. Mm. No matter where you come from, your background in life, you can be as, as great as you wish. So you're, you're partly motivational, but you also do services as well, don't you? Yes, we do that. So tell yes. us about the services. Normally, that you do. we normally affiliate with local local municipalities, mm. and and and, uh, and our office office of office of the premier. They normally support us. We host events. Mm -hmm. Then on those events, we invite our government. The government there, like they normally help us to to like to make sure that the kids there they are going to be helped. With, with our services. Mm. What sort of things do you help them with, apart from motivating them? Yes. What oh, else, yeah. We are educating them normally about things like what business plans. We are teaching them how to do business plan. Mm. We are helping them to apply for scholarships. Mm. Three of my products now, one is going to... to, to he's, going, yeah. he's going to do his medicine. Yeah. Wow. I think it's Gemini or something. Yeah. yeah. Two of them, so they are in Nigeria now. We, mm. we help them to apply for the scholarships. Again, Start businesses. Yes, again, we teach them how to do a, 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 a feasibility study. Mm. Because normally, young people, they normally do what? Business plan. Mm. But they don't know that a business plan without, without doing, mm. without what? A, feas a feasibility analysis. It, like, it is not mm. powerful enough to, to sell your idea. Mm. You, yes. All right. So, what's in it for you? You're not making any money from this. Why are you doing it? Uh, I'm saving my passion. I'm saving my passion because, mm. w w like, since, like, since I'm from Kwakwa, Kwakwa mm. is, is a rural place. Mm. So, I've met many challenges. So, so growing up, it it, it became my my obligation that I must go back. To, to my, I must come back, mm. to, back mm. to Kwakwa and make a difference and make sure that young people, they won't be affected by those challenges mm. that affected us. All right. So that, that is why, I, yes. Sir. How can people get hold of you who want to be helped? Oh, uh, they can, uh, on Facebook, my name yeah. is Mpirime Lefa on Facebook. Okay. Mpirime Lefa. Mpirime Lefa on okay. Facebook. All right. Yes, I'm on Facebook, sir. All right. And you'll be able to take them through the steps. We will do that, sir. We will, we will, we will do that, sir. We're saving our passions. Sir. All right. Are you making a difference, do you think? It is our passion, sir. It is our passion, <laughs> it is our passion, sir. 
Lifa Mpirima, it's been a pleasure talking to you. It's great to hear inspiring stories of young people doing amazing things. Keep doing the hard work. I know that the reward is in your heart, uh, but many lives are being changed. So thank you very much indeed for your work and for coming to talk to us. Thank you very much, sir. Thank All you very right. much. Sir. Okay, so that's Lifa Mpirime, and he's doing amazing work. Look for him on Facebook, Mpirime Lifa. We'll be back, and we're going green after this.